More mass protests in Port-au-Prince. In cities and towns across Haiti, thousands took to the streets for a second day to vent their fury at the preliminary results of November's elections, which they say were deeply flawed. Fires were set and roads were barricaded, despite the announcement that there would be a recount of the presidential ballots. Protesters, many still unaware of the news, tried again to attack the headquarters of the Provisional Electoral Commission, the government body responsible for monitoring polls, throwing stones at police and UN peacekeepers guarding the site. We spoke to this UN commander who told us that until the protests stopped, they would use whatever force was required to disperse the crowds. So as you can see, it's another very tense scene just outside the Electoral Commission. Tear gas canisters being fired at people who are taking coverage in these camps, which are literally uh, just feet away from the Electoral Commission. Uh, yet another tear gas canister. This, of course, comes on the heels of an announcement from the Electoral Commission that a recount will be taking place, that uh, this very highly contested election, the ballots of which will be recounted yet again. But as you can see, that certainly hasn't calm the situation here. Anger which turned into a tense standoff. If they don't give us Martelli, we will burn this country to the ground. But not everyone wants the third place candidate Michel Martelli in power. Taking to the streets in response, supporters of Jude Celestin, the government-backed candidate hand-picked by the current president René Preval, took to the streets, a march which resulted in violence. All this chaos comes as a newly published U.S. report found Haiti's cholera epidemic, which has so far claimed the lives of nearly 2,200 people and made close to 100,000 ill, was likely sparked by a human source and was of a South Asian strain. Findings which come only days after a French epidemiologist announced a similar conclusion. Results of the presidential vote recount are expected sometime on Friday. Whether that will be enough to quell the anger on the streets is far less certain. Impios Taib, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.